Hey friends, it's Brian here and it's time for another video about HVAC. So today I'm going to play around with my brazing outfit. It's been a minute since I've done any brazing, so I'm going to practice on this old coil that's really just scrap. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with this coil. Um, it, it, it's perfectly good, but the market for used three you know, three and a half ton or four ton coils is pretty slim. So uh, rather than sell it, I'm just gonna scrap it. But before I do, I'm gonna play with it a little bit and get some practice brazing in. So let's get to it. So before we get too far along, I wanna show you guys go to work with. I got a little oxyacetylene rig. It's really geared for HVAC work. It's a nice little rig. I got a little stool to sit on. Yeah, I should be wearing socks, but Honestly, this is not hot spark welding. And then I've got this gear that I'm just gonna play with. And uh, I can't find my flint, so I'm gonna use just a long lighter to light the torch. And um, yeah, let's get going. Now, I'm wearing my Dickies coveralls, mainly to shield myself from UV exposure. Shouldn't be a whole lot of UV, I'm not working with an arc. I am gonna wear my uh, auto darkening helmet. Again, I like my eyes, especially the one that works right. So we're gonna play it a little safe. Not super safe, cause yeah, I should be wearing socks or something or boots, whatever. Um, you know, this is just oxyacetylene. It's not the end of the world. So anyway, let's do it to it. And I gotta tell you, it's been a long time since I have done any oxyacetylene work. Mm, like maybe seven years. And yeah. So let me go get something, I'll be right back. All right, so I had to go look something up and we're back. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna start to undo this service valve assembly. If for no other reason, then we can. And so, all anyway, right, I've got some TIG gloves on. Really wish I could find my spark. Order. Looks like a nice reducing flame there. Now this is 0% uh, brazed that's on here. There we go. So that's one removed. Now that's hotter than hell and I didn't bring any water or rags with me, so whatever, but we're gonna take this apart. Thank you. 
and I have no idea what the factory used. There we go. So we got that taken apart pretty quickly. And um, you know, a lot of people say to only do the fitting. I should be flowing nitrogen if I cared about this, but again, this is a piece of scrap. I don't care about it. Uh, in fact, the extent of what I'm doing is this is just for me to get used to brazing again before I work on my new system. So um, we're gonna, and if you were really doing this to a real service valve, you'd wanna pop the cores out so you didn't melt them. I'm sure I did. I don't care. Um, yeah, I just don't care. That, that's the simplest way for me to put it. So um, we're gonna go ahead and take this service valve off on the left next. And let me see if I can find my sparker real quick. I don't have a clue where it went. I really don't. And that's kind of frustrating for me. So, again, we're just going to prep this a little bit and make life simpler. It's a nice reducing flame there. I'm going to try to keep this off the concrete. There we go. That was quick and simple. Now we got to decide what we want to take apart next. And I think the answer to that is right here. So we're literally going to take this thing apart. You don't want to hold your torch in one spot if you can avoid it. That's just bad juju in the world of welding. Now, what do we got here? This is kind of interesting. So we're going to take this sensor off. How is this put together? So I think we're going to take this apart here. accidentally bumped my torch tip 
but it looks like they just drilled a hole and stuck the damn thing in there. Well, that's a chintzy ass way to do it, but let's get a closer look at it and see. Okay. So next we've got an octopus to deal with. And we'll start with the octopus up here. So I'm going to take the octopus apart. Wow, that was quite a bit of stick in there. All right, my next piece of the octopus is down here. That's an amazing amount of stick in. I'm really shocked at that. So what I'm doing is I'm heating the outside of the joint to get some heat into the system and then I'm heating the ins insert. Now I realize there's probably somebody that does this for a living that would take issue with how I'm doing it, but I'm using my instincts as a welder. That's a lot of solder on that. And I know the HVAC industry doesn't like the term solder, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, it's brazing if it's above a certain temperature and it's soldering when it's below. I wouldn't have guessed to see three inches of stick in in there. That's just a lot more than I would have expected. I'm having some visual difficulties here with the my glasses and the mask. I'll tell you what, this was a lot easier when I had better eyesight. It should be there. There it is. So I think the octopus has one more section. And there's another piece there that can come off. But I think realistically, the only other thing is the sense side. So we'll go ahead and take that apart. Like working over top of that. 
So I'm going to work on it from the side over here. And again, this is just, I'm just doing this for practice. This is not an actual uh, repair of any kind. So I'm going to shut my stuff down for a second, switch gloves. Actually, I don't know why I'm switching gloves. So let's see if we've got this thing clear. I think we do. In fact, I think all we need to do at this point is come in here with some nippers. Oh, we've got one more sense line. Where did it go? Oh, it's over there. But you know what? That's for the bulb. So I suspect we just cut this and unravel this. This will come right apart. It's just insulating tape here. All right. What do we got there? Uh, it looks like it's banded on. Now, there's a reason I'm not going to desolder this one. And the reason is, is that that's filled with a gas. That's how it senses the temperature of the, the system and decides how much refrigerant to let in or out. Now at this point, I have an octopus and I probably could break this down a little bit for when I take it to scrap, but for now I'm just gonna throw it over there and we're gonna start taking apart a different section of this. Um, I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart, uh, stop. All right, so we're going to keep taking this thing apart, and uh, in the process of doing this, I did bring in a bottle of water, and I did bring in a rag. Uh, and um, again, we're just going to crack the oxygen a little bit, turn on the acetylene a little bit, and then we'll light it, and this is slower than I'd like. So we'll try again because that didn't light real well. There we go. That's a nice reducing flame that we want to see. We've got two different two different colors of flame there. So now we're gonna come in, we're gonna get this one out of the way and they really did just drill a hole in this and solder the tube to it, which is kind of surprising. So it'll be interesting to see if that's what they did here. I guess it works, it's, it is welded. And that's what they did there, too. Now, next we're going to go after this over here.
And again, I'm having a little bit of vision difficulties here, so if it looks like I don't know what the hell I'm doing, it's because I really can't see that well. Um, this, this mask is not ideal for brazing, but it's going to get me through this project. Okay. Well, I've got to get that clear. So I got this little band here and this band has got to come off. I got to get these sensors out of here first. These are temperature sensors for the control board. And honestly, they don't have much to do with what we're doing today. They were just kind of clipped in there and now they're clipped out of there. So we're going to take this off and then I think we'll take that off and that. And then at that point, we might as well just take this whole assembly apart. So that's what we're going to do. There we go. We see that second reducing flame coming out of there. That looks pretty nice right there. Not quite where we had it before, but that will get us where we want to go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this bottom piece off. I don't think this is hot enough. Okay. 
because it shouldn't have taken that long to heat this joint up. Oh, and it looks like it might have been full of oil. And if that's the case, that's probably not a good thing to... Well, it doesn't seem to be flammable, so doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and get these other pieces apart like we said we would. I just don't think this torch is adjusted right. That looks better. Amazing, they just literally drilled holes in it and popped tube in there and, and brazed it. Same thing there. So I'm having an issue heating up the bigger pipe, so I'm directing the flame more over there. And the tongue of the, the flame is actually hotter than the inner part of the flame. So if you put the flame in here like this, it's it wraps around good, but it'll wrap around just fine here. The part you can't see is actually the hottest.
Okay, so we're going to take a second to look at this. Let's see, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try and get this one apart. Let me look at this to make sure I understand what I'm doing. Yeah. So this center tube, I want to take it out. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to heat the whole thing up. And it, it slips into a cup. Now I'm heating the back side because I expect most of my heat to go in on this side. And I gotta heat the whole thing if I wanna pull it out. And this torch is a little bit small for three quarter inch pipe. So we're heating this for entirely too long, and that's because this torch is just a little bit too small. So if I was really changing this uh, reversing valve, I would have fried it at this point because it's entirely too hot. There it goes. Oh yeah, but it doesn't matter. We're just taking this apart for kicks and giggles. So next we're gonna take this apart. So I'm gonna start by warming this up and then I'm gonna switch to the upper part. Actually, you know what? I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna take this one apart next.
So I think we should be good at this point. That's still pretty hot. So next we're gonna go ahead and take the valve off itself. And again, I'm gonna follow the same process where I heat the outer part of the coupling and then I'm gonna switch to the, to the insert. And I don't have enough heat to get in here quickly to be able to do this right. So I'm really struggling with it because I, I, I probably need a much larger torch. And I, and I have a cutting torch, but that ain't it. This is a number two tip, and I don't think it's enough heat for what I'm trying to do. So I'm freely going to admit, I'm probably not very good at brazing, but I've only got to braze some adapters in uh, to connect the line sets. I don't have to do anything heavy duty or that involves any um, precision um, components. And that's a good thing because I don't think I'd be able to do that right. So I turned up the acetylene, hoping to get some more heat out of this. And that's part of why I'm doing practice stuff.
I just don't think it should be this hard to take apart this piece. But I also don't know what it was welded with. Hey, one thing, it's acting like it doesn't have any silver in it. So we're coming up to temperature here, and we just flashed out whatever oil was in the this dryer. I don't know that I don't know that I unbraised that as much as I cut it. I wanted to treat a spider right, it looked like it was cold. And you know what, I gotta get off my knees cause it's killing me. And there's nothing down there that I need to be sitting kneeling next to. For this, I could work on this this little stool. We're almost there. I actually had it and I lost it trying to grab these pliers. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Nothing says spider be gone like an acetylene torch. So, I think, hmm, yeah, I think we'll just start taking it apart up here. or not. Yeah, these stick in just a little bit, but that shouldn't be a big deal. So I'm watching for that solder to t liquefy right about there, and then I can pull it out. Well, let's just see what this is made of. And again, we cut through it. That's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to actually unbraze it. So I'm pretty sure they use a special jig with multiple torches at the factory to put this together. Let's see if we can get one of these actually apart.
Hey, there you go. So I'm starting to see it bubble.
can't understand why this isn't coming loose. Maybe it just didn't have enough heat in it. Does this ought to be enough to get this thing red hot? There it goes. Well, that was it. Maybe there just wasn't enough heat. All right, back on my knees. I normally would rather not lay down next to what I'm welding, but this is the best way to get the right position.
And again, that one just burned off, which is fine, it's old. So I'm gonna take one or two of these off to just be confident in my skill set here. I don't know if I have enough heat to do this. It really requires heating both ends at once. I don't think I have the heat for that. All right, so let me turn this off. Oops, I like could have done it the other way, but whatever, got turned off. I'm gonna take a break, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, folks, so I think that's gonna be it for my practice brazing. Um, I might put some stuff together, you know, I don't know, I gotta think about that. I might do it with just some regular copper pipe because I've got some laying around. Um, and I think that would be a, a good practice thing. Uh, let me look at that and think about that right now. I have some regular copper pipe and half inch ID and um, 5 8 OD are basically the same thing. The problem is that these supposedly flexible connectors that came with it don't actually made up properly so I, I don't know i'm just gonna wait and um i i think i'm good with adjusting the torch and i'll i've got some nitrogen to flow when it comes time to actually braise so i'll screw with it later anyway that's it for this video remember to like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you can find out when i release new videos check out my playlists because i use those to organize my videos so.